I'm home. Oh. They won't catch me sleeping on the job again. Bye, Hypnos. Such a shame. What's the giant pack posted out in the courtyard, Father? You offering me a job? Perish the thought. It's so that all your toiling can be more painful, nothing more. Why would I want my toiling to be more painful than it already is? Who knows, boy, or better yet, who cares? To make the mortals up there worship you for all your labors? Go on, then. Go get yourself dispatched some more. So I can make well certain that my realm can properly contain you. It's a deal. What news of late about Eurydice, my friend? She is as delicate as I described, no doubt. Ah, but I am dwelling on her once again, it seems. I knew she was a talented musician, mate, but you never let on that she is an amazing chef as well. She's been hospitable to me each time we've met, though you still seem to be a bit of a sore subject. How very understandable indeed. Were I to have been failed to be rescued from the depths of hell, mere moments from escape, I too would be quite cross with my attempted rescuer. And for quite some time. I'm working on it, mate. Cerberus is preoccupied with scratching and biting at himself. You take care. You want more pets? I got more pets here, boy. Must have missed Achilles. Those shades are always milling about. Turn yourself around. Just checking up on things. Mistakes are proof that you're doing your best. Within the recesses of the administrative chamber lies the elder sigil of the master's house, a symbol of the fate given authority to rule beneath the earth and means by which to travel the entirety of all that dark domain. Could never get that blasted thing to work for me. Achilles on break, I guess. I have to ask you something, Nix. What is this debt you owe my father anyway? Forgive my eavesdropping, it's just... I heard the two of you discussing things, and it came up. I was here long before your father. The responsibility to govern fell to me. Yet, I could not manage on my own. I shape the darkness, ensure the integrity of the domain. I am less prone to census-taking and administering rules. I receded from such responsibilities. It was too much even for you. So, when Father arrived, you welcomed him? He helped? I was quite skeptical of him at first. I thought his presence merely a cruel trick of fate. But he worked diligently from the start. Soon there was order where once there was none. I fashioned this house for him, and I maintain it still. We remain in partnership, in interdependency. He has never taken advantage of you, of your generosity? No, child, he has not. He can be short with me, as you have seen, but that is the extent of it. We have found ways to reconcile disagreements, though your relationship with him, it is more complicated than my own, I fear. I'm sure we can reconcile our disagreements all the same. The house contractor, up in lights. Anything good? need a shave. You 
are bound to me, and I am your host. Where do you think you are? Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody gets out of my domain, whether alive or dead. I'm leaving, Father. Try and stop me. Sometimes I think about what you've endured. To have been living in that loathsome squalor, cousin. I swear, you'll have your justice. fought bravely by my side. You know that, don't you, nephew? We prevailed against the Titans and established law upon the Earth. Your father then descended to the land of death, and we've not seen much of each other since.
for Charon. Zeus already has endowed you with his thunderous might. Well, you shall soon forget about all that after a taste of this. Who felt that? Worth it.
That is far enough. I get the feeling I am being watched. Perfect. The power of the gods. Face the Furies. Oh, hi. So. Good job, Red Blood. You made it all this way. But I have got to send you back to Daddy now. Nothing personal. Wish you could join me, Electo. Want me to put in a good word with Father next time so you can come visit us at the house yourself? Oh, you know, I'd rather have my eyes put out, but thanks for offering. Now, time to head on home. that then some darkness Whoa. next stop asphodel
closer to the surface. Love that sulfur smell. Long way to go. I think I'm ready. Poseidon got to you before I did this. I let him. He's under the impression he's as fry as ever. life down there. I'll try and help you live through it this time, so that way you can tell me.
let it go to your head. Whatever god I don't pick won't be pleased. No choice at all, correct? You'd choose one of my relatives instead of me. Though I myself was first to come. To do it. I angered her, I guess. and I take no offense. Exacting vengeance is just something we Olympians all do from time to time.
Athena's power. Sorry, can't turn back. Respond.
Zandrius. Once you arrive, we'll have to find for you a suitable mate, won't we? Find young man such as yourself. Normally, there's much to choose from around here, with some exceptions, of course, such as my cunning daughter, Artemis, willfully uninclined to take a mate at all. Yes, Zagreus, in spite of all these perfect, chiseled prospects everywhere about yearning to marry or embarrass me, for some reason, I prefer to spend my time mostly alone or with my nymph friends in the woods. Always a pleasure, Charon. More chariots.
Use the rod of fishing there. Where did you go? What did you do? Damn. My sympathy is a stranger. your way there, sir. We're just acquaintances. I don't know anything about you either. And you are better off. This place is for the greatest of the Greeks. Do I seem like the sort to fit in here? Go on and chat with Theseus or someone of that sort. of me. Questions that are better left unanswered, I would guess. If this eases your burden even for a little while, then it's in good hands as far as I'm concerned. Theseus. The gods are testing us once more, Asterius. For how else to explain this fiend approaching us, bearing such blessings as would normally be fit only for heroes such as we? You do know I'm related to them, right? The god of the dead is my father. I'm sure word's gotten around. Not that I want deferential treatment from the likes of you. Good. 
for you'll get nothing of the sort. The gods are on my side, not yours, monster. What business would they have abetting you? for your support, my shade. Your struggles soon shall be in vain. So you keep saying. Elysium in the bag. The underworld's entryway. Thanks. Quite 
Nothing up here, thanks. Got to keep searching. Let's see what's in here. of this place. here. Oh, what is this stuff? Olympus, I accept this message. Cerberus. That's quite a stash there, Charon. Here's the fee.
and Cerberus directs all three of his attentions toward the Sator Sack. I owe you one, boy. I'm out of here. Every blasted time. My brothers and my sisters and myself. We too wanted to slay our parents. The Titans. Bastards. And worse. And you succeeded. Chopped up some of them into many tiny bits and sprinkled them throughout the pits of Tartarus so they can't regenerate. Or so I hear. Inspiring, really. We had no recourse at the time save to collaborate. Developed a specific plan and saw it through. And the Titans. You think me cruel, yet know nothing of cruelty. But here, you want something to hate, then have it. name.
out in blood. Beyond the frozen overlook and all that. So much water. Uncle Poseidon's realm. I'm here. Zagreus, you're back. I'm here, Mother. Son, I have to ask you, how much do you know about your relatives upon Olympus? I think I know quite a bit by now. I've been in steady contact with Athena, Zeus, and other members of the family ever since I first left Father's house. They've been assisting me in getting here. No. Zagreus, what have you done? You've let them here? No, no, they think... They think I'm trying to escape from Father so that I can join them on their mountaintop. At least I think that's what they think. Most of them, anyway. But then, does Hades know of this? That Olympus is involved? He does. Both he and Nyx. In fact, it's Nyx who put me and Olympus into contact. I could never have broken free of the underworld if not for their help. So Nyx and Hades are against each other, then? And Olympus is helping you. But they don't know I'm here as far as you're aware. That's right, more or less. Nyx and Father seem to put up with each other. Don't seem to have much of a choice. Though ever since I learned of you, Nyx has been helping me to find you. While Father's tried to stop me. That fool. What was he thinking? What is he thinking? Do you suppose he thinks that he's protecting me from them? Oh, no. I... Uh, I think maybe he does think so, indeed. Because now having met my relatives upon Olympus, I can definitely see that they can be a bit vindictive about things. Vindictiveness runs in the family, my son. Then if Olympus is involved, that would explain a lot. I'm here, not there with them, as you can see. But, oh, it seems we'll have to speak some more when next you return. When I return... Well, this is going to be awkward. I'm up, I'm up. Natural causes got you again, huh? That's a real shame. I mean, imagine one day you're just going about your business and then, ah, you're dead. Although I guess you don't have to imagine it like I do. <laughs> no. Oh, how could he? How goes your heat of rivalry against the greatest king of Athens lately, boy? Your battles with him and the Minotaur must be the talk of the underworld of late. Admitted, Father. Theseus was the only hero you were able to recruit to stand against me. All the while, he gets to boast about being the champion. Well, it was Heracles too busy for the task. Speak not to me of Heracles. You know these heroes by their deeds, not by their character. Heracles is fortunate he's in my brother's favor else he would be in Tartarus where he belongs. The mortal concept of what constitutes a hero is absurd. They should have asked the expert, I suppose. Hey, tell me something, sir. Any rumors swirling about the house regarding the outcome of a certain interaction I have with my father recently? Involving a great deal of violence? Because I'd like for everyone to know, I won. I wouldn't know of what you mean there, lad. 
For there are certain subjects so forbidden here right now that not even rumors can take hold. But just between us for the time, congratulations. Truly. Thank you, sir. I didn't know whether I had it in me. As for the other bit, I'll keep it quiet then, for now. Probably shouldn't be tying my sense of self-worth to praise from friends, acquaintances, and strangers anyway. Indeed, lad. You took Lord Hades down. You really did. I've never seen him quite like this before. I could scarce believe it when he came up through the pool of sticks himself. Seemed only fair in the grand scheme of things. He slew his own parents at some point, right? I think the fates enjoy this sort of thing. Come on, Zag. Take some credit where it's due. Though, you'll forgive me if I keep my distance for a little while, as I think you have some issues to resolve. You watch yourself. I'm planning to. You're going back there? Some mortals don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Shall we get back to work? Jeff won't see my whip when next we meet up there. You realize that, right? I realize it. And I hope you never change me. I hope you do. Meg, did you... Did you ever meet the Queen? Remember anything about her at all? It was not my place to address her. I barely ever saw her. Then at some point, I never saw her again. And unlike you, I know better than to get involved in things that are none of my business. How is it that this place has this secret queen for I don't know how long, then suddenly she just vanishes and no one speaks a word of it? None of my business, I said. for Megara, I guess. Get out of here. Let's see here. <laughs> I could use that. <laughs> Trade you these gemstones. Need more of those, so here. This is probably. Here's the catch of the day, or night. Too good to pass up. Could always use more. Nix, my mother was quite concerned to learn Olympus has been aiding me. Did you... haven't you put her in danger by involving them? Was there no other way? No, there was not. She has been in danger all along. I concealed her, yes, even from me. But it is not enough. I do not think that you could have found her without the Olympians. And if I did not reveal your existence to them, if they discovered who you are, it would be worse. Oh, what a mess. How are we going to fix this? The Olympians maintain belief that you are trying to reach them. I trust we can sustain this understanding for a long, long time. Perhaps not forever, but long enough to discover a solution. Perhaps with your birth mother's help. I'll be careful. Next claim. sign of Cerberus for now. Denied again.
Let's see the last of them. Never bedtime here. Get a load of them prizes over there. What's all this? 